Hi, hi, hi. Just a quick one. I'm on the road, but as you can see, I am stationary. Definitely not moving. So, arrive alive. Okay. I'm wearing uh, my African ring with the ankh. I had to wear this ring today because I anticipated that I'm going to have one of those days. Because as you remember last week, someone reversed into my car and now their insurance, because it's third party, their insurance was asking um, me for a whole lot of things. Um, letter from my insurance thing. I'm not going to claim from my insurance. Letter from the bank if my car is financed. All those things. All those shibiri biri 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 do. And a diagram showing why I say that um, their driver is responsible. Gandhi, what is uh, the duty or the role of um, having gone to the police station and having done the case because i would think the case they have a right to request the the statement from that but anyway so my post today is about self-preservation there is something within the life coaching space called a uh, res which is their reticular activating system in essence it's a bunch of nerves that respond to a whole lot of things this session is not about that. Come to my seminars to actually learn about your res. But why am I bringing up the res? The res gets fed by you. You feed the res what it will send back to you. So it's like a boomerang. Whatever you say, if you say you wake up and you say, today my day is going to be a bad day. Hi, sweetheart. You are going to have a bad day. Definitely. So anticipating how my day was going to turn out based on all the paperwork i put on the, the, this ring uh that's got the ank the ank is uh, a sign from the egyptian um religion uh actually uh culture combined with religion and it's a sign of life so today i was thinking about self-preservation and ensuring that my i am anchored you know whatever is going to upset me must not upset me so much that i lose my temper and i have to tell you already you know my res is serving me lemons because <laughs> when i got to the place where they're supposed to give me the quote they said they don't work with this uh insurer of course i won't say the name i don't want to be sued insurer and uh but then the other part why i am doing the, the main main reason why i'm doing this video guys relationships are important relationships will move you from a dark hole towards the light and even beyond the light it relationships will give you wings when i arrived at this place that had fixed my car before when uh Someone had knocked it in the Eastern Cape when I was coming back from a funeral. May his soul continue to rest in peace. So I loved how they handled themselves as a panel beater. Because they, they, they updated me like literally every step. Every day. There was no time when I didn't know when my car was supposed to be coming back. Also, I could negotiate with them to speed it up because I needed my car, you know, it's not comfortable to be driving other people's cars and stuff like that. So when I get there, this lady, she says to me, Andrea, because it's you, you're a nice person and you, you, you've you built this relationship because when I got there, I was like, guys, I went to the other place where I knew you used to be before, where I'd taken my car before, you guys were not there. And I told myself, I was satisfied with your service. I was going to search for you and find you wherever you are. That is where my car is going to go. Because I, I appreciate how professional you are and efficient you are with your service. So this lady gives me a tip. She says, listen, these people are going to pay you cash to fix your car. 
please call them now. This is a tip from me with love to you. Call them now, call them now and ask them if we discover unseen damage in your car. Are they going to cover it? And they must send you a letter that, say, that alludes to that. And the penny dropped for me because really we take things um, as they are at face value. We assume that what you see is what you're going to get. And she, she went as far as showing me someone's car that's been standing there for three weeks. This person was paid by the other insurer um, for uh, fixing the car based on the quote. But now when they were fixing the car, the client said, no, go ahead and fix what the, that other stuff that now you're discovering that actually inside there's more damage than what was being seen on the outside. Only when you stripped it, you discovered this. And the quote now was 14,000 more. And now that car is sitting there for three weeks because Lomundu Akona doesn't have the money to pay for that. And that, that, that insurer is saying, no, you gave us a quote. You went to your place, you gave us a quote. And that quote said, this is how much it's going to cost to fix this. So we went with that. It's not our problem. So the poor dude is sitting without his car for three weeks now. The car is still sitting there and waiting. So guys, as I wrap this up, self-preservation. There are situations that we cannot run away from. And of course, you don't want to feed the beast of negativity. But that which you have no control over, there is probability that it can interfere with your whole aura with your whole mood prepare so today this is me self-preservation with my africa with the ang telling myself that whatever you encounter baby girl it's okay it's okay okay let me run i've got a call back catch you later stay beautiful stay positive know that i love you be resourceful always have a plan b put systems in place to help your cause otherwise you're gonna be walking around like a raging bull pissed off don't allow anything to interfere with your mind space be prepared i come from the scouts movement it was always said be prepared that which you cannot control control how you respond to it by putting systems in place i love you stay blessed